Hey guys, this is Tai Chin from Moon Rider Academy. I want to say welcome back, everybody. This is the very first video that Moon Rider has produced um, from the big reset from OGP to Papaya. I have taken a while off the game, um, but I'm back now, and my tunes are basically zero. So this is a good opportunity to be making more videos, and as you will see, there will be more videos coming out. So if you have any ideas on videos, or something that you would like to be better, you know, elaborated, feel free to message me in game. Use our company email, I will provide that in the description below. Stuff like that. If this video, if you have any questions on this video or any video, please don't hesitate to ask. Constructive feedback is always good. So, in this video, we're going to be talking about a storage grind, a cooking grind, as well with a short explanation of the North America uh, festival that's going on currently, so why not? Alrighty, let's dive right in. So first off, I'm going to explain the North America Festival, and that goes on for three days at a time. It's, it's it, to my knowledge, I feel like it's random, but I think something triggers it. I'll do some research later to find out what really triggers the North America Festival. But anyways, the North America Festival allows, gives you numerous perks. For example, it'll uh, decrease the amount of money it takes to ride the train to the destinations that you want to go, but I'm going to be focusing mainly on the experience gain that you will be getting from uh, these things. So, uh, adventure-wise, if I were to go to a landing port in North America, and currently I'm in North America's Southeast Coast, which is right here in Florida, um, I would go to one of these little landing points here and I would basically collect or procure. Currently I've been procuring because I'm getting berries and I'll explain that later on, but each time you get about 50,000 adventure experience, give or take more or less, something like that, and you'll be getting that for one hour every single day. You're only able to do it for an hour a day because uh, when you use, you know, a skill such as this for too long, it'll say um, you have reached a limit and you won't gain any more adventure experience in that. Uh, aspect. So there's that, and if you were to go kill the NPCs, you would be gaining, in my case, because I'm in a trade job, I would be gaining 100 trade experience and 100 maritime experience for killing one guy. So I've seen several people farm NPCs, um, and they get, you know, about 100,000 trade and 100,000 battle experience in one day or something like that. Um, also, if you were to be in an, in an adventure job, you would be gaining 100 adventure experience and 100 maritime experience uh, if you were to kill one of the NPC guys. So there's that. And then the last thing for trade-wise is if you're collecting or if you have goods that you want to craft, each time you get a great success, you will be gaining 100 trade experience. For example... I have some berries, so when I craft them one at a time, whenever I get a great success, see I got a great success right there, you get about 100 trade experience. Now, you just keep doing this, but you have to do it one at a time. If you don't do it one at a time, once I have to empty my inventory, but if you don't do it at one at a time, it won't give you all the experience that you would think. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if I were to craft about 20 berries and I got 5 great successes, you would think I would be getting, you know, 500 experience, trade experience. That's not true. So I'm going to craft 20 berries right now, and I got 11 great successes. You would think that I would get, you know, 1,100 trade experience, but I only got 122. So no matter on the bulk size, you'll only be getting around 100. So that's why you want to go one at a time to get, you know, use the full benefits of the, of actually, um, getting a lot of trade experience. Alright, so now with the North America, America Festival going on, let's talk about storage grants. So basically you just need rank 1 storage and procurement. Doesn't really matter. You can basically start from rank 1 and you just procure in, I would, I'd highly recommend you go to North America Southeast Coast. Because when you procure, you'll get berries, and at rank 7, you'll also be getting exotic fruits. So when you use the Traveler's Food Procuring Skill Book, which you can gain from Benghazi or Salonika for a 200k investment, uh, you have a bunch of recipes with berries. 
starting at rank 1, so that's perfect. So basically you just make your way down and stuff like that, and you can basically do this till rank 15. And when you get to rank 8, you can basically start crafting the exotic fruits into stuff until rank 11, but pretty much you'll be gaining a lot of experience. This is probably the best uh, way to grind storage. There is a way of grinding storage through fish, but fishing takes longer. And the thing with fishing is, you know, if you rank, let's say, 8, or, you know, if you rank 10, then the highest you could be getting is tuna. And along with fishing for tuna, you'll be getting a lot of, you know, sardines and these level 1 fish and stuff like that, which you wouldn't get if any experience at all, which is why I recommend going the procurement, you know, very exotic fruit way. So there's that, and that's basically how you're able to rank, well, grind storage from rank 1 to rank 15 and move on again. And that also works with procurement, because your procurement skill is going to be pretty high at the same time. Um, now with cooking. How is cooking involved in this? Well, with cooking, as you can imagine, I've been sitting here for about two days, and I go through a lot of bigger food. Uh, I've been using salted fish with nuts, and with cooking, you are able to make salted fish with nuts with the berries that I'm collecting. And the nice thing about the fish is you're easily able to go out to port, fish for about five minutes, get a bunch of fish, but you know, depending on your uh, skill, get a bunch of fish and make salted fish with nuts. Also, if the festival is going on, which it is, you can also buy fish in Boston and then take the carriage to uh, the North America Southeast Coast and then you can just, whenever you need more bigger food, you know, just craft that up. Now, of course, you do need rank 12 cooking to gain that um, luxury of making food while you're grinding storage, but all you really need is rank 7 flat, unless you have a bunch of other boosters, but you only really need rank 7 flat if you don't have any boosters, because you can make, well, you can get mysterious spices, and mysterious spices are gained from Lisbon, London, and Venice with the correct chrono title on, and I do know for a fact that 15th century, 5th period does work, but I do know there's a larger range between, I think it's like 15th century to 16th century, you'll have to check, I wrote to double check with that, but it's somewhere between there that you can gain these, and you can just easily buy these from the item shop with the correct chrono title. Um, these give you a plus 5 temporary uh, skill to your cooking skill, so currently I'm only, you know, rank 8 cooking, so 8 plus 5 is rank 13, so I'm well over able to make these. So, I'm able to craft a lot of fish and nuts while I'm grinding. So basically, in a way, you're grinding, cooking, and storage and stuff like that. Now, of course, to get to rank 7, um, what I did was, I used the Livestock Secrets Poultry, which you can buy from Calvi or Ragusa from the item shop. And basically, you can buy chickens from Lisbon. I mainly uh, grinded my skill around that area because, well, you'll see why later. I got chickens from Lisbon, and when you use this recipe, they'll turn them into eggs. And if your storage happens to be ranked 2, you can change those eggs back to chickens. And it's a never-ending cycle of chickens and eggs. Literally, I did this till, well, forever. Anyways, um, with that going on, you can basically do the chicken to the egg, egg to chicken back and forth until you're ranked 3. Uh, if you don't want to do that to rank 3 and you want a rank 2 recipe, you could get the livestock secrets of sheep from Amsterdam, but it is, you know, kind of far out of your reach since, well, I'm mainly grounded in Lisbon area and you have to go all the way to Amsterdam and find goats and sheep to get to rank 3. After that, you can basically go and get the crafting recipe called the livestock secrets of pigs, and this is basically where it was pretty much doing the same repetition but to rank 7. So from rank 3 to rank 7 you can basically port hop from Faro to Porto, find pigs, and pork, and just grinding the recipe all the way. So that's pretty much it. That's basically how I grinded my storage, my cooking. 
while taking advantage of the North America Southeast Co I mean North America Festival because well I started at rank well I started at like 20 trade and now I'm at 52 trade and basically I started at rank 1 storage and I've been here for about a day or two and I'm at rank 11 already of course I haven't been playing all day but you'll get the gist it's it's a pretty basic easy grind if the festival isn't going on you are more than welcome to just craft everything one you know all at once instead of all so anyway see you guys uh, take care constructive feedback if you have any uh, see you all later thanks